Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. I've recently started to do a short video series where I'm comparing Lightroom's new AI noise reduction technology, they call it Denoise AI, versus the other AI noise reduction applications that are available, at least the ones that I happen to own. Those include Topaz Labs' Denoise AI, On One's No Noise AI, Luminar Neo's Noiseless AI, and DxO's Pure Raw 3. I've already done one video in the series I compared Lightroom's Denoise AI versus Topaz Labs' Denoise AI. In the description below this video, I'll have a link to a playlist. All of the videos that I do in this series will be in that playlist. Also, eventually, I don't have it done yet, but eventually, in the description below this video and in the description below all of the videos in the series, I'll have a link so that you could download all of the files I've done or I've used in the series so that you could load them on your computer and determine for yourself which noise reduction app did the job best. Now we're going to be working on the same exact image, of course, for each of these different AI noise reduction apps. It's this Nikon RAW file. I hit the I key, you could see that it was shot with an ISO of 12,800. If I zoom in, you'll see that there's a considerable amount of noise. I sent it through Lightroom's noise reduction technology, that's Denoise AI first in that last video. I'm not going to do it again. This is the result I got. You can see that Lightroom did a great job removing the noise. Then I sent it through Topaz Labs to Noise AI, and this is the result I got from that app. My determination at the end of that video, again, I'll have it in the playlist below so you can watch it if you haven't seen it, was that Denoise AI's result was slightly sharper, but it did have a little bit of noise in it compared to Lightroom's result. Many people commented, well, in Topaz Labs to Noise AI, you added sharpening, but in Lightroom, you didn't add any sharpening, and that's 100% true. I didn't do that. I just kind of want to see what you, I want to show you what you get kind of straight out of the box. And that's why I decided to make the images available for you to download so that you could load them onto your computer and put them in whatever app you use to process your images, and then do your workflow on them uh, from the noise reduction point forward, meaning, um, I already removed the noise, and you could then sharpen them to your liking. You could do whatever you need to do uh, in your workflow to create a finished image, and then you could better determine for yourself which one of the apps did the job best. So today, we're going to take this raw file, and we're going to send it into On One's No Noise AI. Now, there's two different ways you could do that from Lightroom. The one is the more conventional way. Um, you could just right-click on the image, go down to Edit In, and over and down to On One's No Noise AI. You do it that way. But if you do it that way, you have to send a TIFF, JPEG, or PSD file. On One recommends you use a PSD file. But I like to preserve the raw format as far through my workflow as possible. And there's another way to get this image into on one's no noise AI and preserve the raw format. To do that, and this is the way I recommend you do it, and you do get a better result. I have tried this, um, and definitely, you'll definitely get a better result doing it this way. Uh, go up to File, then go down to Plugin Extras, and then go over and down and you'll could see that there is somewhere down here on one no noise AI 2023. And if I click on that, you'll get this dialog box. I'm going to edit a copy of Lightroom adjustments, even though I didn't do anything in Lightroom. This is an unedited file, so I could do either that or this. It doesn't matter. But the file format, go to this drop down and make sure that you choose DNG, no layers, just like that. DNG, so that's a raw format. Use the other default settings and you're good to go, and then click OK. Now, full disclosure, um, you notice that I had um, No Noise AI available as a plugin. You can purchase it. You don't have to purchase On One Photo Raw 2023, the full-blown app, to get, um, if all you're going to be using is No Noise AI, you can purchase it separately, and it works as a plugin. 
in Lightroom and Photoshop. Um, my full disclosure is that I didn't buy it. It was given to me from On One. All the On One apps that I own have been given to me from On One because I make videos on them, so they give them to me for free. Skylum Software also gives me all of their apps for free, all their uh, extensions and everything for free. Everything else I buy, I used to get DxO stuff for free, but that it ended. So I buy all DxO stuff. I buy all my Adobe stuff myself. So I just wanted to do full disclosure so you know what I get for free and what I actually pay for. So we're going to click OK. So now it's going to take this Nikon RAW file and create that DNG file and open up that DNG file, still a RAW file, inside of um, On One's No Noise AI 2023, I should say. Now you have a little bit more control here. Uh, first of all, when you send it in, it's going to automatically do a default amount of noise reduction to it. And you'll be in this split view and you can take this slider and you can see the before. And then if I go this way, you can see the after and you can see it did a very nice job. Let's leave it all the way to the left so we see the after. Now we go over to the right, you do have the option to use Tack Sharp AI, which is another kind of AI sharpening application or you could use both. Now, since I'm only comparing noise reduction applications, I'm not going to use Tack Sharp AI or both. I'm just going to use No Noise AI. You can see that with the No Noise AI model, the original model, that we have these three sliders. So there's a luminance slider that's at 100, enhanced detail is at 50, and color noise reductions at 100. Then down here, you could add some sharpening. It has been my experience that this slider you have to be careful with, because you could reintroduce the noise. But you can see as I moved it to the right, it did it had a considerable amount of sharpening, but I'm getting a lot of noise like around the edges, particularly in here and a little bit on the shoulder over here. So this one I would be careful with. The default setting on that I believe is, well, it's gonna be whatever you last set it at, but I think the default setting right out of the box is 100. So I'll leave it there. Now, if we go to this drop down. The original model, you can see there's another model there, high detail. Let's try that. And you see we have the same sliders, but you have to wait for it to render. And you can see that, I don't know if you could see it actually in the video, but it definitely made the image sharper. But look at the, um, let's go over this way and let it re-render. Look at the background here. You can see how it's kind of modeled. It's It's got this kind of like, I don't know, kind of color blotchy look to it. Let me go back to the original model and let that render. You can see how that's more creamy smooth. And also that high detail model, if you really look at like the bird's face, once that renders, there's definitely some more noise in here. Now, when I do have the files available for download, um, I'll include both versions in that um, download. Today though, for the video, I'm not going to do both. I'm gonna use the better, what I consider to be the better of the two. That's the original AI model right here. And I like that. I think it did a pretty good job. And you can see there's a before and there's an after. I think they did a nice job. Um, luminance and color noise reduction at 100, it, got, it knocked it out fine. Enhanced detail right in the middle. You can mess with this. Try moving it to the right. Of course, you have to wait for it to re-render. There's a progress bar you might be seeing popping up over here. You have to always wait for it to re-render. Moving this enhanced detail higher doesn't necessarily reintroduce the noise as much as the micro sharpening slider does. That's been my um, experience with this. I'm going to bump it up a little. And again, we're going to be comparing it to the Lightroom version. There's no sharpening added to the Lightroom version at all. You know, so, but you're able to do that if you want to. But that looks pretty good overall. I think I'll leave it at 75 and we'll click done. And then we'll be back in Lightroom and then we'll compare um, the different um, results to one another. This is it right here. You can see that it's underscore DSC 4762. I am going to rename this. Um, I am going to rename this on one. On one. 
oops, we need one. And then I'm going to go the original. I think that was called the original model and it's no noise. And the other one was high detail or something like that. And that will be the distinction between the two when you download the images so you see which is which. So this is on one's original model, no noise AI. I'm going to click OK. All right. Now, let's zoom in. Let's get to the raw file first, the original raw file. And let's zoom in to a nice spot right in here. So we could see the noise in the background here, maybe like that. You can see this noise in the background. We can see the noise on the bird's head and everything. Now, right next to that, we have on one's original noise noise AI. Now, you see that it kind of moved a little bit. That's because on one uh, did lens corrections to it automatically. That's why it's moving a little bit. So there's the original raw file. There's on one's no noise AI. There is Lightroom's denoise AI. And then next to that is Topaz Labs denoise AI. Now you notice the denoise AI from Topaz Labs is a TIFF file. You do not have that option when using it as a Lightroom plugin to send it over and get that DNG file back like we did with no noise AI. You just don't have that option with Topaz Labs denoise AI. But you can use Topaz Labs to Noise AI as a standalone app. You could use No Noise AI as a standalone app as well. And you could work on raw files directly that way if you want to. Uh, so that's why this is a TIP file. The others are raw files. So uh, again, um, it's really hard to tell. Um, but this to Topaz Labs to Noise AI, let me zoom out. Let me um, zoom in to a more critical spot. If we look maybe a little closer in here this is the topaz labs denoise ai and then we look at the lightroom and as i mentioned before the lightroom isn't as sharp but it has less noise in it there's still some noise in here from the topaz labs and there's really no noise at all from the lightroom version and um, again you could sharpen that if you want then next to that i have on one's no noise and similar to topaz labs there is some noise here but it is sharper. So you're kind of giving up that um, total noise reduction for a little bit more sharpness. Now again, there's sliders in all these apps that I could have moved around and try to improve the result. And that's why I'm making the files available for you to download. You could try it for yourself. All of the apps have fully working free trials. You could download the free trials and try it for yourself and then determine which is best. And that's that. And there's the original raw file. So that's it for this video. And as soon as I have those images available for you to download, I have a link to them in the description below this video and all of the videos that I do in the series. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.